Hello everyone and today I'm getting ready to show you how to um, actually I'm making a centerpiece for someone and they want it three feet tall and in order for me to do that I have to use uh, a coloring page and I have to get the image as well and I couldn't find one that will be the resolution will be high enough in order to do a three foot um, centerpiece so I just went and found a coloring page and I'm going to recreate this image here. Without the butterflies, it's just going to be the balloon, poo, and piglet. So let's get started. So the only one I was able to find was this one and it has a break right here in the balloon. So that will not allow me to change the color because it, the black is actually will be considered the outline once I recreate the colors and then you have um, the outline and then you will have the image itself so I will have to close this up and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that right now so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see exactly how I close this out before I take the white background and I just want to do a trace because I just want the outline so what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit more I'm gonna go over here to my line tool here and click on it and I'll come back over here now you see a plus sign and I'm just going to hold the plus sign here right here and click on my mouse button the left mouse button and hold it down and drag that line to connect to the other side then I'm going to go and object and convert to path so I'm able to um, change the shape of this or be able to use the editing points so I'm gonna go over here to my line tool here and I'm just want to make it thicker enough to be as thick as the line that's already uh, created the balloon so now that I've done that I'm going to click off of here I'm gonna go back here and get my move tool right here and I'm gonna double click on it and then I'm getting ready to click on the red lines to put editing points there so I can create the shape around the, to get the shape that's missing right here. So I'm getting ready to just move it. You see how I'm able to move it now? And I'm just trying to create a shape and I can take it here and bring it up a little bit more. Bring this down. Bring it out like that. Put a point here. Gonna bring it down. Now this right here, it's gonna it's gonna be there, but you can kind of erase that out if you want to, or you can um, just leave it. Or you can bring this down some like that. Do your editing points again. Click on it and kind of bring it up like that. Put a point here and bring this up like that. All right, I think that's fine. Okay, so now I'm done with the editing points. I'm going to zoom out so you can see exactly what I'm getting ready to do. And I'm just going to move this over some and I'm just going to hold my left button down on my mouse and drag it over here. Go over here to my trace select trace area button here and click trace and then I'll take my trace window and drag it over and now you can see that it's closed up but I see some black spots here that I want to close up a little bit so I'm gonna go to my threshold here and just drag it or you can just click the up button until you get to desire so you want to make sure that all your outside lines are closed up and we're going to click trace move this out the way move this red part out the way oops move that out the way you can go ahead and delete that so now you see that i closed that up okay so now we get ready to ungroup so I can make changes and colors to my image. So I'm going to go, I clicked on it, then I can right click and do release compound path. Now I'm getting ready to actually, 
I need to open this up from my um, background. So I'm going to click since this is opening and this is the actual the outline background, like the silhouette part of it is going to be the brown part. I'm going to click on that. Click on the, the edge right here. And then I'm going to hold my shift key down and click on this, this little piece here, because this is part of the brown part. And I need that to be open and I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to right click. Oops, let me go back. Okay, so I'm going to right click and do make compound path. So now I can just get this out the way. I won't delete it because I, I need it because it's the brown background. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and make it brown by clicking on the fill panel here and make it brown. And I'm going to actually do the outline as well. Okay, so now that is done. So now let's create, and this actually is supposed to be over here. I don't know what happened to that. So let me see if it will work. I'm not sure, but sometimes it just don't. And I want to make compound path. Okay, so it did open it up. Okay, thank you. Whew. So now I want to color the balloon. So let me grab all these together. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and make the compound path with these holes like over here so the brown can show through. So I just drag my mouse over it, right click, and make compound path. So once I do the color, and I'll go over here to my color palette and use my dropper. And I'm going to go over here to the balloon over here and just go around and you'll see in the little square that it changes colors as you hover over it. So I think I'm going to do this and you can see how that changed. I have to go back and get it. Uh, I think I want this color is fine. And I'm going to do it for the line, which has already been checked. And you see that the opening here is gone uh, and so now you can see the brown coming through that so now let's start working on Winnie the Pooh and Piglet I'm gonna get rid of the butterfly because I really don't want that okay so now what I'm going to do right here where you see Piglet it's got a wide opening here so I'm going to click on this one right here and just do a copy and then I'm going to right click again and do paste and now I'm just going to take that to fill that spot in right there okay so now with Tig with Piglet I need to click on the face and the eye to open it up so you can see the brown coming through and I'm just going to right click and make compound path okay so we're going to do that to put the color in last. Let's start with Poo. So with Poo, I have to click on to open these up so you can be able to see the brown through his eyes, his eyebrows, and on, at the bottom of his feet. So with this one, I have to click on this leg, hold my shift key down, and click on these two right here. Right click and make compound path. This one right here is separate, so I have to do this, hold my shift key down, right click, compound path. Now I have to open up this piece right here in between the body and the leg, and I have to click that, hold my shift key down, click poo, click his eyes and his eyebrow, right click make compound path now let me go ahead and um click on each piece by holding the shift key down uh, his arm that piece there 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 oops there there and I'm quite sure I missed something so I go up here to my dropper here and then I go over here to poo and get a color that I may like and I think it's that one. Ooh, that's the outline so let me go here and see what that looks like when I put them back in here so that's pretty good 
but I noticed that the arm is behind that. So I'll right click on this and just bring it to center. Oops, I said center back. Yeah, center back. So I'll send that to the back. And now Winnie the Pooh is perfectly clear. Now, right here where his nose is at, I forgot to color that. And that's supposed to be white. So I'm doing the outline and I'm going to do the field. This is the outline and I just did the field. So when I put it back over, you see the white piece. Okay, so we can go ahead and do Piglet. And I'm getting ready to just grab as many as possible, but trying not to touch two. Go up here. Mm, I guess I can do the eyedropper for that and get the pink from over here. And then I'll do the line as well, which is, should already be pink, so I don't have to worry about it. And there you go. So now it's already done. It looks really, really good. And I'm just putting them how I want him to look, making sure the balloon sides are even. I could tap that over just a bit. Nope. It was perfect. Where was that? So now all I have to do, uh, this little piece right here, I think I want to make that a little bit bigger. About right there. Okay, so that's fine. So now all I have to do is drag my mouse arrow over this and group together and now it's one piece. Now I can make this three feet and it won't be blurry at all. And I will show you uh, the finished result of when I sent it off to get printed and they sent it back to me. Uh, it's really, really nice. Um, I will be putting this on foam board and cutting it out and then put it on a stand so it can be a centerpiece or a prop or whatever they want to use it for. So I hope this helped. Uh, it was just a quick tutorial, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye.